Hello, my name's Marty Windle and welcome to the SBL Guru Podcast. This is another episode in our series, Strategy in Real Life, which takes elements of the SBL syllabus and applies them to real life companies or real life organizations. So there are many other different episodes. If you want to look back at previous episodes, it will massively help you for your examination. So today we're going to look at the meal kit industry and in particular how AI or artificial intelligence has impacted this industry. Now if you're not familiar with the meal kit industry, the idea was a simple promise. We want to make dinner easier by delivering you pre-proportioned ingredients and recipes straight to your door. Now, as the company grew, they realized that convenience alone wasn't enough. Customers wanted personalization, sustainability, and flexibility. So they needed to control cost, reduce waste, and streamline logistics. Now, this is where AI came in. If you're not familiar with AI, what AI is, is a simulation of human intelligence in machines. So the machines are trained to think like humans and mimic their actions. And when we look at the meal kit business, that's where AI entered the kitchen. Now, this is an industry that often faced problems of customer acquisition and retaining customers. So AI offered more than just marketing. It was transforming how meals are designed, how ingredients are sourced and how customers are cared for. So the first thing we can look at is giving the right product to the customer and we can use AI to give the right product to the customer. If you open up your meal kit app, you're presented with tailor-made recipes for you, lighter dishes on hot summer, hearty stews in autumn, vegetarian options if you've been ordering too much meat. So behind the scenes, there's a complex AI engine analyzing data points from seasonality to dietary trends. If we look at a company called Gusto, a leading meal kit company in the UK and Ireland, they built a recipe library of 7,000 meals, offering as many as 200 different choices each week. Now, AI plays a crucial role here. It identifies ingredient pairings that balance nutrition and minimize food miles and appeal to changing customer tastes. The chefs then refine these AI-backed suggestions into dishes that land on our dinner tables. Now, the big competitive advantage here by using AI, you have a dynamic menu that feels curated to the individual customers rather than a generic offering of the same menu every day. If we look at America, there's a, a meal kit business called Hungry Root. They take personalization to the next level. Now, what they do is they instead of changing recipes, what they do is they use a points-based system. Let's let customers swap, add, and adjust their meals. And the AI engine then analyzes individual dietary preferences, past purchases, or even nutritional goals, and recommends meal combinations and items designed for each household. So it takes the personalization to the next level. Again, this can increase customer loyalty, give you a competitive advantage. Now, if you are a person that is gluten-free or lactose intolerant, this personalization can be a game changer for you and can make sure you stick with the provider who is focused on your needs and gives you what you want. Now, one of the key challenges in the industry is managing inventory. If you order too little, the customers are left disappointed. Order too much, fresh produce ends up in the bin. Again, what the industry is doing is using AI to solve this balancing act. Predictive models now analyze purchase patterns, local events like weather, and broader economic data to forecast demand with a far greater accuracy. According to industry reports, companies adopting AI reduced overstocking and food wastage by 20%, and also increased sourcing efficiency by 30%. Now, this has a major financial benefit for companies by avoiding wasted ingredients, but also it can reduce their carbon footprint and help the company to cut costs when they're facing tight margins. One company found that by using AI-enabled supply chain, it helped them to provide 18% cost savings on average, which is very important in an industry where margins are thin. Now, for the customer 
service perspective, the experience doesn't end with just choosing meals. It's all about how quickly and reliably those meals get delivered. And again, AI is optimizing this at every step of the way. If we look at Daily Harvest, a US meal delivery company, they've woven AI into multiple parts of their business, especially into the logistics part, the delivery part of their business. On the logistics side, algorithms calculate the exact amount of dry ice needed for each shipment based on distance, weather conditions, and this helps to reduce a significant cost for the organization. On the customer side, AI-powered chatbots handle queries instantly, even flag at-risk customers who may be considering cancelling their subscription, give them a, them a chance to re-engage with them to manage the churn. They also are using AI-driven route optimization tools to shave minutes off delivery time and reducing fuel consumption. What this means for the drivers is fewer delays and smoother operations, but fresh ingredients getting to the customers on time so it builds their reputation for reliability. Now, the latest trends in AI in this meal kit business is hyper-personalization. As you provide more information to the company, what AI can do is tailor meals to your unique lifestyle, your health data, and even biometric feedback from each customer. Entrepreneur Mark Law has launched a company called Wonder, where they try to suggest meals not just on taste, but curate them based on your body. They analyze your sleep data, your blood sugar, and your fitness tracker, and recommend meals to optimize your energy and reduce inflammation. What this does is it turns AI into a dinner plan and a personal wellness plan for each individual customer. The important lesson learned for many customers is that AI cannot do everything. AI is best used as a partner to human creativity, not a replacement. So the companies that use AI best, they let the machines do the heavy lifting, predicting demand, suggesting combinations, optimizing logistics, but they let the chefs and food experts bring the art artistry, the storytelling, and the emotional connection to the preparation of those recipes. It's just a flavor there of how artificial intelligence can actively improve performance of the business by personalization, by collecting information on customers, by having more efficient delivery and reducing the environmental footprint. All these can add significant value, cut your costs, but also reduce the most important thing, which is the customer churn. Thanks for listening. My name is Marty Windle. If you want more help, go to my website, www.sblguru.com. I'll put a link in the description of this podcast. Thank you for listening and good luck in your exam. <laughs>